so for me, the, the main advantage of Tau Pet is that it is, uh, for me, it is the technique that basically connects the presence of pathology with the presence of uh, symptoms, right? I mean, the first, uh, you know, the first uh, mm, marker of pathology we had was amyloid PET. And that's great because it's super uh, specific for amyloid plaques. The problem is that the this uh, the presence of amyloid pathology is not always linked to the presence of cognitive impairment. So that's a problem for our, for clinicians, right? Because if you see your patient has elevated brain amyloid, okay. Uh, in general, you cannot conclude that this elevated uh, amyloid is causing the cognitive symptoms your patient uh, is currently having, right? So that's the main problem of, of, of amyloid PET. So with tau PET, we have a new uh, tau, tau pathology is the second hallmark of, of Alzheimer's disease. With tau PET, we also have something that is very specific for Alzheimer's disease, but at the same time, okay, it's it's much more strongly correlated with the presence of, of cognitive impairment, right? So every time you see, uh, in general, okay, again, every time you see an elevated uh, or, a, or, a, or a positive tau PET scan, you can be much more certain that the cause of cognitive impairment uh, if in your patient is due to Alzheimer's disease pathology, in this case to tau pathology, right? So that's the main advantage compared to uh, amyloid PET, right?